Hey guys, welcome to Talking Fish Angling. Uh, we're trying a new spot uh, south of Omaha. We found this uh, really cool spillway where another creek connects uh, to our normal creek. And uh, there's a lot of different fishing opportunity in this one kind of area. So we're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully we get something on camera for you guys and uh, we can uh, start making this channel grow, right? So that's what we're here for. Let's do it. There we go. I'm on top of the world up here. Not from here. All right, we're going across. Huh? Walking in Hell Creek. That's what this creek is called. Let me get across here. There we go. You snagged? Not the split shots. I don't think there'd be anything over here. Well, we did find two dead carcasses of animals. That's pretty cool, I guess. I think we're gonna go try over there now. But this is still pretty cool up here. All right. So over here is another feeder creek, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to come over here because this actually has two feeder creeks feeding into the main creek. Um, over here, the water is really low right now for some reason, but basically have two things going in. I think I'm gonna cast right in the middle over here. Because it looks like there's a little spot for me. Maybe we can see if we can pull something out of here. There's a dragonfly. Right. Let's see if there's something over here by these structures. Or something might want to pop out. That tree looks pretty promising. Something hiding. If there's something hiding under there. Um, see if we can drag him out of there. Uh, look at all that. Oh, there's a bullfrog. Bullfrog is under there. Let's get up here. <laughs> Death. Let's see if we can cast under here. See if we can get close. Something just jumped. I think that was a that was a frog. Let's see. Don't want to get snagged here. Oh, something had it. What the heck? I oh, know. I think that was a that was a leaf. I'll have to look at that video. God, that's what I was worried about. Don't lose my worm.
Orange is wrapped around. Oh, there's, there's something down. Oh, there's fish down there. I don't know what that was. I think that might've been a sunfish. That's probably what grabbed it last time. I gotta go grab a worm. I can bring my tiny, tiny hook over here. All right, I'm gonna go grab a worm. Then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so we're back at the spot. I actually have a different rod and reel. Um, I have, a, I have a spinner with a 10 pound braid on it, camo braid, since we're fishing the smoky water. And I actually brought a smaller hook and that's the reason why I brought all this over here because that looks like a really little fish. And uh, sometimes when you're fishing a dead spot, it's kind of fun to still at least catch something little. So that's what we're gonna try and do. We're not gonna waste too many worms on this guy. We're probably just gonna take off like an eighth of this worm, hook it on there. And hopefully we'll be able to get him. So I want to at least catch something here. And I know he's under there. So let's see. Is that? There's that. So that hook poking out. Hopefully, we'll be able to get him. Now, let's get under here. Show this little stinker who's boss. So, every time I throw it under there, he's went for it. So it makes me think it's some sort of sunfish, something of that nature. Got him. Get over here. What is it? It's a little largemouth. Would you look at that? It's a, I just caught a largemouth in Papio Creek. He's gonna be surprised. Am I filming? I'm filming. I just caught a little baby largemouth in Papio Creek. What the heck? How in the world? Oh my God. I mean, it's a little dink, like smaller than a smaller than a dink, but that is not what I thought that would be. Oh, he just broke off. Hey, I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna put you back. Better quit that. I'm gonna put you back. Look at this guy. That is that is amazing. There has to be more of them under there. There has to be. All right, we want to keep this guy alive. So we have to do this fast, but that is just amazing. Ah, I'll see you guys when I'm over there. All right guys, well, we got kind of skunked with our uh, new spot. We kind of scoped it out on Google Earth. And uh, even though it looked promising and uh, visually when we were down there, um, it was a really neat place. There should have been a lot of fish there. Uh, we got a bunch of little nibbles. Emerson caught a little small bass, and uh, and then we just didn't feel right, so we're, we booked it out of there. We're kind of going to our normal, everyday uh, spot that we've we found that we've had a whole bunch of luck at, and uh, we're gonna see if we can keep going. There's also frogs on the way there. We're gonna try to catch a big bullfrog or something. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, guys. So we made it down here. Um, first time being out here. We're walking down here in the dark, but let's see what we can pull out of here today. I mean, at least we caught something tonight. I'm pretty sure this is a baby flathead. I don't think it's a bullhead. No fork tail, and, and you can see on his head, it's pretty flat. That's, yeah, that's a flathead. I'm pretty sure this is a little baby flathead. I've caught actually a couple of these in here before, but uh, I don't know. We'll try again. He swallowed it, so like down to his butthole. All right, 
Let's see if we can catch mama, big mama. Okay. Big mama cat. This one, and he went right over the top of this one and just popped up. It's like I had him out of nowhere. Huh. I didn't even know he was there. Like I just started reeling in to reset my hook. Nice. This is the third one of these that we've caught in about a week and a half now. This will be the second one. Oh, look at him. He's you got beautiful. him? Yeah, he's beautiful. Oh, I got him right on the lip, just like the other one. That's not as big as the... It's not as big as the, the bigger one we caught last week. I'd say this is the same size... The five-pounder. ...as the first one that we caught. I wish we had a way to weigh him. We should have... Yeah, the things are like $20, though. I had though. no idea this fish was on. None. At all. Like, I had no clue. I just... Oh, man. I didn't even feel Here, it. Here, I got the pole. I got the pole. You just grab him. I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just grab him. No, let go of the pole. Okay. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I had no idea he was on, dude. No clue. Oh, he swallowed it deep. That's why I didn't know he was on. He just just quietly just crept up and got it. Look at that. That's the third one of these in a, in a week. Here, shut your lights off. My light on? Yeah. Look at that. That's the third one of these in a week. And uh, that one's crazy. I had no idea he was on. They must be hitting these soft tonight. Maybe we should check our other ones. Oh. Jeez, that is insane. Oh, he's ready to go. Goodbye, Channel Cat. Oh. Put up a good fight, and you slapped you slapped Emerson in the face, so. Oh, he goes. You made me bleed. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. 